To begin day one of your figures in motion sculpture, you're going to need some tin foil in the following sizes. Tape, preferably masking tape, but any tape will work. Wire, or you can even unbend a paper clip if you don't have wire, and a Sharpie or other type of writing instrument. So we're gonna start building our figure in motion using the leg piece first. And this is what it's gonna kind of look like uh, once we're done with the first two demonstrations. So first we take our piece for the legs, which is about 16 inches wide by 12 inches tall. We're gonna use the tips of our fingers to roll it, leaving some air in the foil. Holding it the wide way, start rolling. Okay, next you're gonna bend this in half to find the halfway point. Check it on the table to see if it really is halfway, you want the legs even, and squeeze all of the air out of the hips. Once you're done making the legs, they should look like this. You can set those aside and get the piece for your arms. The arm piece is about 13 inches wide, so it's a little wider than a square. We're gonna roll it the same way, only this one we're not gonna fold in half. Okay, set that piece aside for the arms. Next, we're gonna take a square piece, about 12 by 12 for the body. This one we're gonna use not just our tip of our finger, but our whole fingers to roll it wider, leaving lots of air, because this is gonna be the body piece. So just to show you the difference in thickness between the body and the arms, the body should be much thicker. Once you have the body piece finished, you're gonna hold it vertically and place the arms about four inches down. You're gonna place the legs about four inches up. So there should only be about an inch and a half of space between the arms and the legs. Next, I'm going to fold this down and this up. When you fold this part up, it should touch the shoulders like that. And when you fold this part down, this should touch at the hips. So really what you have is three layers of foil for the body. Before going any further, double check that the arms and legs look even. You can kind of shift it in there if you need to, or if it's too tight, open it back up to shift it. Squeeze a little air out of the shoulders and bend them forward. Check them next to each other to see if they look approximately even. You also wanna make sure that the legs are even. Push the hips together like this, and then stand it up just to see. Mine's leaning when I stand it up, so I need to move my legs over a little. So shift them in place until the legs look even. Once they look even, take one piece of tape about four inches long, and you're gonna place it on the stomach and wrap it around, almost like putting a diaper on a baby. Now, hopefully you have something to write with. My preference is a Sharpie, but other writing instruments will work. Just write your name, your block, and your cubby number on your tape, okay? Now, if we've double checked that the arms and legs are even, we can add tape where the arm meets the body. So kind of put it in the armpit there and wrap it around so that the tape touches back onto itself, almost like putting a Band-Aid around a fingertip. Put the tape under the arm. Make sure that the tape is touching both the body foil and the arm foil so that it holds the arm in place. I'm gonna take two more pieces of tape to get the legs taped in place. And again, you wanna kind of get the tape touching back onto itself. The tape doesn't love sticking to the foil, but it does love sticking to itself. I kind of also like to push the tape into the grooves of the foil, kind of make sure it's on there securely. Okay, and at this point, we can start squeezing air out of the knees, making sure they're even the ankles and bending the foot forward. Always double checking that your legs are even length. Squeeze a little air out of the feet. Think about what your person's footwear is gonna be. If they're wearing big clunky boots, you might wanna leave some of the air in there. If your person is barefoot or wearing ballerina flats, you're gonna wanna squeeze more air out. Then I'm gonna bend the shoulders so that the arms are at the sides. I'm gonna squeeze air out of the elbows which fall about halfway down the waist. 
almost even with the navel. Then I'm gonna squeeze air out of the wrists. Now the forearm should be equal to the length of the foot. So you can kind of get an idea where the wrist should go based on that. Make sure that the wrists are even on both sides. Now, if your arms are a little too long, you can tear some of the foil off. Never cut foil, only tear. Because your fingertips, when you put your arms at your sides, your fingertips usually fall even with about halfway from the hips to the knee, okay? Now to make the thumb, I'll just tear a little piece off about that size. And I'm just gonna kind of fold that and twist it into a little point for a thumb, kind of make the hands like mitten hands. Do that one more time over here, tear a little piece, like about that size, fold it, twist it into a little point to make a thumb, and the rest of the finger is going to a little mitten hand. Okay, so that is step one of building your armature for figure in motion.